Okay, so this video is going to be about number seven products. Um, that's what I've been using for the past couple months. I'm going to show you here in just a moment uh, the results that I've had so far, uh, starting out to where I'm at now. And there'll be a few pictures in there that uh, most of them are no makeup out in natural light. Um, some of them. A couple of them, I think, do have makeup on. One is still out in natural light. One is um, when the light's fading, so it's kind of grainy, a little bit harder to see. So uh, I'm just throwing it in there anyways because that's the photo I took at that point in time just to kind of mark the results that I've been having. And then um, I have one in the bathroom where I look super shiny, but that's just because I have horrible, horrible lighting in there. If at some point I'll do something about that, but that's not my biggest concern right now. So, um, I started using these products uh, just because I'm, I needed to use something. I mean, I started getting really, really deep lines in my forehead because of some of the medications that I was on. Um, if you've seen any, any of my other videos, like I have videos on rheumatoid arthritis, and because that's, I, I have that, and the medications had a lot of severe side effects and so it's really hard to see right now out here but I have some really bad um, sun damaged spots just because the medications made me extremely sensitive to sunlight and I wanted to try and help take care of some of that. I don't wear makeup very often. I like makeup. I just I don't do it very often. Um, I'm busy. I don't have a lot of time and I really just kind of want my skin itself to be better. Um, maybe not like it was when I was a teenager or a 20 something, but um, at least better uh, from what it was starting out a couple months ago from all the damage that I've gotten from all those products. And um, I have definitely noticed results from this. Um, so um, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step what I do with my morning routine and my evening routine, but I just kind of wanted to update you here what that's about, and I'll talk to you um, throughout that and let you know like what the product says and um, what it's supposed to do and how to use it, uh, but I just kind of wanted to update you here first. So, and then... Before I go into my routine, I'm going to show you some some shots of the results that I've had. And then with any of those products that I'm using, I will put something down in the description box below, just letting you know what it is, what it's for, and how much it costs. You can find these products. Um, they're all number seven products. They're distributed by Boots. Um, but since we don't have Boots here, you can buy them here at either Ulta or even at Walgreens. I haven't seen them in a lot of different places, but those two places for sure do carry them. So um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications. All right, thank you. There's only 60 seconds here of me showing pictures and I was trying to decide between doing a voiceover or doing music so um, I just went ahead with the voiceover because I figured it's easy and I don't have to try and find something or pick something but next time that I need to do something like this just leave a comment in the box and let me know if you prefer 60 seconds of music or 60 seconds of me talking about pretty much absolutely nothing and I'll keep that in mind for the next video so, um, yeah, that was a bad picture just because of the lighting. It was sunset. Uh, anyways, I will go ahead and let you go and move on with the video from here because there's not much left. This is the last one. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's helpful. And don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, and okay, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of my morning routine. Well, I guess not some of, but go over my morning routine with you guys um, with this number seven product that I have been using for the past six weeks. Um, I started off 
with uh, with some there we go I started off with some radiance results radiant results purifying foaming cleanser um, it says radiant and healthier looking shine free skin and vitamin C E and B5 plus meadow sweet uh, suitable for sensitive skin Trivit complex this is 150 milliliters for uh, five ounces. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty big. Um, <clears throat> for best results, massage into wet skin and rinse away thoroughly with warm water. Cleanse your way to radiant and healthier looking skin in one week. Formulated with number seven, Strivit Complex, Complex Plus Metasuite. A refreshing, apparently I can't talk today. <laughs> A refreshing foaming cleanser that's formulated to help protect your skin's natural healthy balance. Um, I do want to say that even though on the front it says suitable for sensitive skin, that if you are sensitive to perfumes, this does have some perfume in it. Um, let's see. I mean, it's pretty far down on the list. It's like the 11th thing down in the ingredients list. So, but I mean, you can tell just from smelling it. It definitely does have uh, some perfume to it, but it's not strong and it's not awful. It's, uh, uh, well, here, we'll just do it and we'll talk about it as I do it. I guess, or well, I guess not, because I'm not gonna be talking while I, while I'm done here, get my face wet. So it's literally just, it's one pump. My other hand went too. And that's it. That's all you need. Now it does say that if you get this in your eyes, to rinse thoroughly right away. But it's kind of a soft, um, powdery kind of scent. I'll play some music here or something. So just like that. And then I just rest it off. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, what I notice is my skin feels very, I mean, it's not, it's the lighting that's making it look all super shiny. That's, that's not uh, the face wash, but it's not the foaming cleanser. But my skin feels clean. It feels um, a little tighter um, and a little dry, I guess. Um, but we're going to be putting, I don't mean dry like, ooh, it's cracking and tight, and, but it's um, like it, you can just tell it needs a little bit of moisture. But we're going to be 
adding that stuff right back on. So cleans everything out, cleans out the pores. My pores feel extremely clean. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I had tons of extremely large pores before I started doing this. And I don't mean just like in this area, I mean it like it slipped out over my whole face and I still have some here, but it like slipped out over my whole like bottom part of my forehead here and um, definitely my entire nose. And so it's been kind of helping with cleaning those out and tightening those back up too, which is pretty good. And I had like, you can tell in here my smile lines around my eyes, crow's feet coming in. I had tons of lines in here, like deep ones. They're, they're still there, but they're not nearly as deep. Um, These aren't nearly as deep. I don't know. But, okay, well, then I'm going to get cleaned up, and then I will be right back to do the rest of the skincare. Okay, I'm back. Um, I got cleaned up, took my shower, some morning stuff. Normally, I would have um, used my cleanser <clears throat> in the shower. Um, or my face cleanser in the shower. I just do that part in there while I'm doing my regular morning routine. And then I hop out, get dried off, and I do this. So um, my next is going to be the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. And geez, come on. There we go. So it's 1.69 fluid ounces. And it says for best results, use morning and evening, smooth into your face and neck after cleansing, then moisturize with Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day or Night Cream. Warning, avoid contact with eyes if product gets into the eyes, rinse well with water immediately. Um, trying to see. I don't remember. It says clinically proven. I don't remember if this has fragrance in it or not. Let's see. I just use a tiny little dab and I it doesn't really smell like anything um, spread it around on my fingers and I make sure I get my neck too a little bit really does go a long way I know it's not made for the eye area um, I use an eye cream for that but I tend to put it in the delicate eye area anyways. And it's really silky, like a very satiny finish, like, um, it's just like really fine baby powdery, only not dry. Um, it's very slippery. And then while I'm letting that sink in before I put in my put on my day cream, I go ahead and I move on to this is the reason I do the serum first, is because it gives me something to do in between waiting for that to sink in and putting my day cream on. So I move on to my Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Eye Cream. 
and this is five milliliters. So, um, or 0.16 ounces. So, um, but it really does not take very much. It says use morning and evening, dot around eyes, and gently blend around their contours. Again, I just use it, at, well, I mean, all over the <clears throat> eye area. I don't know what's going on with my throat this morning. So again, a little dot. It's like uh, half the size of a pea. And I just kind of smush it between my two ring fingers. I tend to put it right here too, around the bridge of my nose, and I know that sounds weird to a lot of people. But I figure if all of this skin is super sensitive, even or um, super um, thin, and um, compared to the rest, and I mean even way up in here on the sides of the nose, because that's all eye socket tissue, that stands to reason that maybe this little piece of this bridge might be too. So. Why not? And I know a lot of people say be very gentle, only go in one direction. Um, I am gentle. I only use my ring fingers, which is kind of what's recommended for any eye area application of anything, but um, just because there's tends to be less pressure. Um, but I still do it everywhere. I don't worry about what direction I'm going because you want blood flow. Blood flow, oxygen, all, you know, these things stimulate all the stuff that your skin needs. So, um, I just go everywhere with it. And then I've got to wait probably another five minutes or so before I put the moisturizer on. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back again. And lastly, I have my day cream. I tend to use it in this tube. Um, so the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream with SPF 30 sunscreen. Okay. And um, I also have it in the jar, but I figured why not use it? use up the tube first before opening up the jar. So, and again, this is 25 milliliters, <clears throat> 25 milliliters, so 0.84 ounces. And that's about the size of two peas together. And the reason I do that <clears throat> It's because I like to bring this with the sunscreen down onto my neck and down here. And that still might even be, I think I got a little too much compared to usual. But it's got sunscreen in it, so especially since my hair is short. Gonna make sure I get all over. Now this I don't take right up under my eyes too close. I mean I do, but I don't go all the way up to the lash line or into the corners just because you know if I sweat me or get any kind of moisture. Um, it'll pull that into the like creases and like right into the eye. So, um, I don't want that in there. No, that's already dry. So now this says, smooth onto your face and neck after applying your number seven serum. You just have to let your number seven serum soak in for like 10 minutes uh, before you do. 
And then again, warning, they all say this, avoid contact with eyes if product gets into the eyes, rinse well with water immediately. Um, this also says avoid contact with fabrics. Now, every night when I do my, or every morning when I do my routine, I'm wearing one of my robes and never had any issues. Every night when I'm doing it, um, I usually haven't even changed out of my clothes for the day yet and I haven't had any <clears throat> issue with that either. Um, and I'll actually be showing you guys my nighttime routine as well. Uh, active ingredients have a, have a benzone 3%, octisolate 5%, octocrylene 7.5%. And that's it. And I didn't really notice. I mean, I guess it does have a little tiny bit of a light sunscreeny smell, but not much. I mean, unless you're really sniffing at it, you're not going to notice even with it just sitting on your face. And this goes on smooth too, but it's not like the serum where it's just like a silky finish and you don't even feel it on your face at all. This kind of feels like a very light sunscreen you can feel it so um it won't stay like that it will it will soak in unless you put too much on if you put too much on i would say in about 15 20 minutes just get a tissue and blot it you know um take the excess back off you don't want to have excess because then you're just going to be super shiny and you can tell that i mean this is it makes you shiny but from my pictures I've shown you, you can see it's worth it. So, and a lot of people will go ahead and put their face on from here, or full face, or I do wear makeup. I like makeup. I just don't wear it often. Um, so, and I don't usually have a lot of time between all the stuff that I've got going on in my life. So, at some point I will do a makeup on here, but not today. Okay, so I will check back in with you later when I do my night routine tonight. Okay, I am back and I said that I would check back in with you and kind of show you my night routine. So, um, there is one thing that I do that I don't have in here that I'm not doing tonight um, just because I only do it once a week. And I actually only started doing it a couple weeks ago, so I've only done it twice. And that is the number seven um, Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced um, Sheet Mask. Uh, I do want to say that all of these that I'm using are, are the uh, Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced. Those are the ones that are recommended. Um, they're all this color. So it's all um, matching, coordinating, um, so it makes it really, really easy <laughs> to just find the ones that you need. Um, they have multiple other kinds for other age groups, but this is the one that I'm using because this is like the 35, 45 range. Um, from everything that I've read, so that's what I'm doing. Um, there was something else, oh my goodness, and it just, and it's gone. Oh, the sheet mask, so when I do the sheet mask, I again use the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced. Um, and maybe I'll look up and see what the other ones are and kind of what age groups uh, they're for. Um, or skin age, I guess, um, and tell you about that, but, or maybe I'll just drop it in the, in the description box below. But for my night routine, again, I start off with, and yes, I realized while I was editing that because of the camera, these are all backwards, but since I'm just starting out with this, I'm, I mean, I could go back and I could <clears throat> read video and, and edit and but I also don't have a way to hold my camera at the moment in order to be able to get it from the other side so it'll read appropriately 
So for now, I'll just tell you what they are and I'll put them in the description box. But again, just like this morning, I'm doing the number seven Radiant Results Purifying Foaming Cleanser. Um, and I already read off to you what that does um, or what it is, what it says on the on the packaging. Um, kind of let you know that it does have a, a perfume to it, um, which is pretty far down on the um, ingredients list. Uh, the items like the 11th item down or something like that. So uh, kind of rule of thumb is the further down in the ingredients list, the um, lower quantity of that particular ingredient. So I'm going to start off with getting my face wet and then we'll get started. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My face is all wet. We're going to do like we did earlier. Just do one pump and <laughs> One pump gives you quite a bit. So, all right, nice and foamy and soft and fluffy. Well, let's go ahead and get started. And get this going all over the place. Oh, it's so smooth. It's just really smooth. It feels almost silky. get all the stuff from the day washed off. I know a lot of people like to use um, muffs to do this with. I prefer my hands just because I know that if I get the, if I'm using this product on the skin on my face, then I'm just going to be getting all the cleaners, all the serums, all the moisturizers, all the nutrients, all that goodness in my hands too. And anything to help my skin, I'm really kind of good with. So, plus I have, uh, I have um, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, things like that. So, anything to pamper my hands, I kind of do. Um, as you notice, I'm not wearing my ring like I was this morning. It's because my fingers have decided to swell up from the from the arthritis and now it doesn't fit. So, all right, so I need to get this rinsed back off and then I'll be right back with you again. Okay, I'm back. It's all rinsed off, I'm dripping wet. Um, there is another product um, a couple of other products, not a product for skincare made by number seven that I'm really interested in trying, um, that I haven't tried yet. Um, and that is a, um, line corrector that they have that's supposed to help really help with the, the deep lines that's still wet. And then the spot corrector that I'd really like to try. You can see it better in my pictures at the beginning um, because of some of the medications that I was on from the arthritis. It caused some um, very severe sun sensitivity and um, being out in the sun and not realizing. I mean, I was told that it would it would make my skin very sensitive to the sun and it was um, it was explained to me by the doctor, by the um, specialist, by the pharmacist and it was also on the bottles, the prescription bottles, but I guess I just didn't realize that five minutes out there would get me all burnt as if I had been out there for three hours. I figured, I figured five minutes I would be fine. So. Um, it's caused some serious sun damage um, that even with this stuff has been looking better, but um, it hasn't taken care of the spots. Like you can still see them. So, I mean, they're, they're a little lighter, but so there's a spot corrector that number seven makes that I want to try. There's the line corrector that number seven makes for the much deeper lines that I want to try. 
and there is also um, not a sheet mask, but um, like a clay mask, not the regular clay mask, but a different one. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, that's supposed to be instant results. I just haven't got to those yet because this is a lot of stuff that I'm using and um, I'm on a budget. So um, this is what we got for now. Uh, and I've been doing this for six weeks, like I said, and I guess pretty soon I'll, I'll probably start adding some more stuff into this. One thing that I did not do this morning, because you only do it once a day and you do it in the evening before bed, and it's also uh, something that makes your skin sensitive to the sun as well, not like those medications did for me, but um, still, it, it makes your skin sensitive to the sun, which is one of the reasons why you do it at night, is the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum activating pads. So it kind of like um, exfoliates. Here, let's see. Number seven, serum activating pads. For best results, use nightly after cleansing. Apply one pad to the face in circular motions, avoiding the delicate eye and lip area. Do not rinse away. Let the liquid absorb into the skin and then follow with your usual number seven serum and moisturizer. Always use an SPF day cream as part of your morning routine prior to sun exposure. Suitable for sensitive skin, always close the lid tightly after use to prevent pads from drying out. It contains AHA. So, um, it's 10% glycolic glow complex and 10, oh, sorry, nope, it's 10% glycolic, glycolic. I've been having this talking issue all day. 10% glycolic glow complex. It's a tongue twister. So, um, let's see. There's 60 pads, and you use one a night. So that's like this little container. is like a two-month supply. And it really does kind of amplify the results of the serum. It's amazing. Um, and I'm using it on both my, my face and my neck. Um, I have... Well, it's not as bad <laughs> right now, but I've got like a line that cuts straight across here. And then another light one that kind of goes right down here, like a little, like it makes a little mouse. And on this side, the bottom part of the, the mouth, I guess, so to speak, kind of crosses right up across the other line. I don't know why. It's I don't know. I don't have like double chins. I don't have big neck. I don't spend a lot of time like way down like this. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. So, um, when you take out a pad and it just comes like a bunch of little pads that are, that look quilted and it very gently exfoliates and I wish I had kept the packaging that it came in because it explained all that on there. And now I'm going to have to go get another one so I can read that to you. So one side is flat. I know it doesn't look like it, but there you go. One side is fairly flat and the other side has the raised edges. So the raised edges is the side that you use. I don't really go in circular motions. I mean, I try to, but my hands do what my hands do. <laughs> my fingers don't like to work all the time. So I just, it's very moist. It doesn't smell very good. I mean, it's not a horrible smell, but it definitely has a uh, chemical scent, like, it smells like medicine. <laughs> and it doesn't really say how long you should do this, 
but it does say to let the the liquid from here sink into the skin so we are going to do that sorry it's kind of hard for me to talk and do this at the same time come on fingers uh, they're hurting quite a bit today Some doctors would tell you that the weather has nothing to do with it, but they're, in my opinion, full of baloney. Because every time it rains and the barometric pressure drops, whew, the humidity rises, it just aches like I'm, like I'm 80. And I'm in my 30s. In my late 30s, but I'm in my 30s. Well, a little past mid. <laughs> Barely. So, mm. okay, now here's something I find funny because I don't use makeup very often and I did not today and I clean my face regularly, twice a day at least, um, well, no, not at least, usually twice a day, not always, sometimes I get exhausted and I forget. If I do my morning routine and I may forget my evening routine one night, some other night I may forget to do the morning routine, but I've at least, I at least remember to do my evening routine, which really sucks because you really should be do, doing this twice a day. But in all honesty here, in the six weeks that I've been doing this, um, probably one night a week, I, or one day a week, I've only done it once during that day. Whether it was the morning routine or the night routine, I have only done it once during that day. And that's happened like once a week um, for the last six weeks. So keep in mind that if you if you did it 100% 100 of the time that you should be doing it, you probably get better results than, than what I've gotten. And I've gotten so far pretty good results in a six-week period. But this is what I was going to say. I don't know if the camera can see that. That was kind of funky. Is that um, you notice that's not perfectly white anymore. I mean, it's not filthy, but you can definitely see a little bit of discoloration, even though I am plainly cleaning my face twice a day. I'm not putting on any makeup. This shows you that without touching your face, without putting stuff all over your skin, without doing anything gross, that just from being outside, just the regular everyday particles in the air, your face is still, even after just getting done washing my face, your face is still collecting dirt, gunk, grime, buildup. This is the stuff that clogs pores. This is why it's important to cleanse and still important to moisturize. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. All right, um, that actually soaks in really quick. I can feel it. It is a touch tacky. Um, even my, my fingers are. But aside from being like a touch tacky, it's, it's pretty good. It's not really going to get... A whole lot better. Sorry, I don't use hair bands. Um, I recently uh, I cut it all short because I have a tendency to grow it out, chop it off, donate it, grow it out, chop it off, donate it. And I don't. Hair bands are constricting. It just it doesn't feel comfortable. And I mean, I have arthritis in my neck too, so everything is an issue, I guess. Um, not that that matters because that's not what this video is about. Okay, so after the number seven serum activating pads, liquid sinks in, which really does not take long at all. Then we move on to, just like we did this morning, the number seven protect and perfect intense advanced serum. And I don't know why I keep doing that knowing that you can't, it's backwards on there. I guess some people can read it backwards, but, but anyways. Um, again, it says suitable for sensitive skin, 
Um, it pretty much says that about most of these things, but again, this does have a perfume to it. So, or wait, no, not this one. The foaming cleanser has perfume to it. The serum didn't really have a smell. All right, so again, a little bit of serum on the fingers. Rub around. And rub that stuff in. Spread that silky, satiny, soft goodness everywhere. And you don't even, like my, I can feel it with my fingers, but I cannot with my face. Like, I cannot tell. It's so lightweight, I, I cannot tell that I have added anything onto my skin at all. I know, I should be going up, not down. But you know what? It is what it is. Mm, I wonder if I didn't quite get enough that time. Man, it's really warm in here. I shut off the air and opened up some windows because there's such cool air going on outside right now. I figured, ooh, let some of that natural air in. <sighs> I'm really hot. <laughs> okay. Back to the Protect and Perfect Intense Eye Cream that my fingers are blocking the letters on. But again, it's the same one we did this morning. Everything's the same. The only difference are these serum activating pads. Uh, well, and the last thing I do, which is um, a night cream instead of a day cream. And of course, the night cream doesn't have the SPF in it because I'm not going outside. I'm going to bed. So... Again, I just use my ring fingers to do this. And again, I still do that little piece in between my eyes, right there on the bridge of my nose. It may be pointless, but it makes me feel better. Okay, now that serum, I would say needs to finish soaking in, but my goodness, it feels like it's soaked in already. Um, I can still feel a little tiny bit of tack from um, the serum activating pads, but uh, really until I put the night cream on, it's going to kind of feel that way. It, the, the tack doesn't 100% go away until I put the night cream on. So, um, let's actually do that now. So the night cream I haven't read off to you yet because I didn't use it. So let's go ahead and read the night cream for you. Well, for crying out loud. Okay. The uh, number seven protect and perfect intense advanced night cream hypoallergenic 25 milliliters or 0.84 ounces so all it says on here is smooth into your face and neck after using protect and perfect intense advanced serum that's it and i just dropped the bottle so, um, the pack that I bought this in, um, 
actually had a whole bunch of instructions on it. Um, I wish I had saved that, but I didn't. So, um, but I've gone out since buying that original pack and picked up extra little pieces. Um, I already ran out of the eye cream, so I got more. I had already ran out of the serum, so I got more because it came in these tiny little package, packages um, because I didn't buy the full ones, like the, the full size ones I, I bought trial size just so I can kind of have an idea like make sure I wasn't gonna have a bad reaction first or things like that because um, if I was I didn't want to have an entire full set that I couldn't use that I had paid for so night cream no SPF because again going to bed not outside in the sun there's no sun it's the middle of the night I don't know unless you work at night and then your night time is during the day, maybe then you might be going outside to wind down a little bit, relax on your front porch or something. I don't know. All right, let's get this stuff added on. And this it does have a little bit of a flowery smell to it so even though it doesn't say on this package I'm pretty sure on the original box that it came in that it probably said something about it having perfume in it it does smell a little flowery like roses but not strong like from here with it sitting on my face under my nose I don't really smell it now on my hands. I can smell it, but I'm not going to be walking around with my hands up to my face. And I'm probably going to be touching something that's going to require me to wash my hands within a couple minutes anyway. So, but that's, I mean, that's already soaked in too. So, I mean, that's, that's it. Um, other than the sheet masks. And then I told you about a couple other things that I want to try, but I have not tried yet. So when I do, I'll update you. And when I get them, I will record opening the package and like reading the stuff that's on the box. That way we don't have incidences like this where there was more on the box than there actually is on this little container. So uh, because this little container does not talk about exfoliation at all, but the box did. I distinctly remember that. So, all right. Well, make sure you click on the like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. Please leave a comment. Um, tell me about uh, products that you've tried, number seven products that you've tried, uh, what you thought, how long you tried them out, whether they worked for you or not, what you what you thought of them, or if you have questions. Um, do my best to to answer them just i don't know let me know let everyone else know let the world know so um i i guess that's it for now until next time